Hey everybody, so today we're going to be looking at another pseudocode example. In this case, we're going to go a little more complicated than we had in our last example. Our last example, if you remember correctly, we defined a variable, got some user input, and then we printed hello with their name. Now we want to get a couple of different variable values, do some math on it. So we're going to work with numbers, store it, and then print that out. We're going to keep it simple, don't worry. You don't have to know a lot of math in order to do this. So let's go ahead and get started showing how we're going to do this. Once again, I'm in Visual Studio Code. You can use any text editor you want. You don't have to use this. If you want to, it is a free download, which is really nice, but hopefully it just also makes it easier for you to see. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with define, and then what are we going to define? Num1, and I'm going to say comma num2. This way I know, hey, I'm defining two different things. The comma separates them out and I'm okay. I'm also going to add in here answer. So now I've actually defined three different things. They're all going to be the same. Now, could I put in here as numbers or something like that? I could, although with num1 and num2, it should be pretty obvious. Next, I'm going to get an input. I'm going to say input. Please enter the first number. Then input num2 equals please enter the second number. Now, my have noticed that, hey, I typed really fast. Eh, actually, I'm just using Visual Studio Code. If it comes up and gives you a hint, you can hit the tab key and it will finish writing out for you. So it makes it a little bit faster. It's one of the reasons I like to use this tool. All right, so now what are we going to do? Well, I want to do a little bit of math and a flow chart. This would be our process box. We're not doing flow charts though. So I'm just going to simply write answer equals num1 plus num2. That's all we have to do, okay? We're not doing anything fancy here. Could I write out something way more complicated? Of course I could, but I'm going to keep it simple. All right, next thing, I'm going to print out my answer. So what I'm going to do is just say print the sum of the two numbers is plus answer. And that's all there is to it. I know, you might be going, wait, it can't be that simple, but it is. All you have to do is have something that's easy enough for other people to read. If you've got that, you've got this. Now, you might say, well, wait a second, why am I doing this? Well, like I said, we want to write out our steps. And in some languages, I'll actually write these out as something we call a comment. And the comment is what we use to define and describe what it is our code is doing. And by doing that, then I can write my code in between my pseudocode and my pseudocode gave me a head start of writing my code for me. It let me know all the steps I needed to do. So no matter how you use your pseudocode, it looks something like that very easy and lets us do a lot very simply. Now, these are real simple examples. Next example is going to be about writing a decision in a pseudocode. So you might want to check that out as we get a little bit more complicated to figure out what is it we're going to do.